Hey guys, welcome to StoneCookCountertops.com. It's five and we're live. Thanks for joining us tonight. We got some cool projects. We're gonna start with this wood. We turn some sawdust and we're gonna have a cool project. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Hey guys, welcome back. Catherine, how are you? I'm so excited. We're here. We're going to get things done. Hey, what do you think of this? I am really excited about this project. We've been talking about this for a little while. We've been brainstorming about what amazing things we How long has this piece this. been sitting in the pile of wood out there? I don't even know when we... It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been we, an investment of time. We actually got that. this for free. We got this yes. piece for free. We opened it up today with our slab jig. We listened to the comments below and you woodworkers said, show us some woodworking projects. So that's what we're doing. Stay tuned. We have, we have a geode project on steroids coming up for you. We have some really cool projects. We're going to announce the winner of the You Got This Award later in the show, but we're going to dive right into this project. We had a great time today, so I was making some noise with the router jig, right? Did you hear that Yes, going on? it was so exciting. I just kept peeking my head in. I was really excited to see what you have in store for us today. This is going to be fun. Yeah, Catherine, go, what do we do? I go, it's going to be a surprise. So you get to see this come to life. Mitch and I talked about colors. I think you're going to like our new color we're going to reveal tonight. Um, but what we did is we had this piece sitting out. We cut a couple 90s on it. We, we brought our scrap over here. This is just going to be fun. I made a clip to show you how we prepped this piece. Mitch, you cool, you cool to share that with everybody? You got it. Come All right. right up. Our challenge with this unique piece of wood was quite interesting. We considered multiple different ways to go about this project, but our solution that we came up with, I think you're going to like. After getting the piece of wood secured to our table, the first step was to simply use our router jig and get everything flat. Now you can see the one end here had a high point, so we're just going to lower our router jig step by step so we don't take off too much meat at a time, but we're using our 3 inch surface planing router bit to go through step by step and plane this piece of wood down. Each pass of the router revealed the true character of this project. It looked gringy and grimy on the surface, but as we opened it up, goodness gracious, I got excited. After we flatten the top surface of this project, we're going to flip it over and do the same thing to the bottom. Just be sure to secure the project down so that as we run our router over the surface, it stays put nice and steady. You always want rigidity when using tooling. After using the router jig, you'll have small ridges left from your router bit, so I'm going to use a 50 grit metal sanding disc and simply remove those ridges with ease. Now it's time to map out this project and see where I'm going to make my cuts. And the whole key here was to find a spot in this project to do a 90 degree cut, and that's what we were tracing out. I'm also going to lay down some foam so that as I plunge cut through this, I don't cut into my table surface. After I make my first cut, I'll trace a new line at a 90 degree to this cut so I have a nice corner to start with. At this point in the project, this is where art and function really meet up. This is where you get to choose where the cuts are going to happen and what piece is going to be used in the project and what won't work. Really, you get to decide how big this is going to be and you got to kind of be Nostradamus a little bit. You got to kind of vision what it's going to look like as a finished product and what your goal is. And here I'm just making straight cuts where I'm going to have the ends and edges of my table and the rest is going to be free formed. I can't wait for you to see this. I wasn't real satisfied with the ingrain that was exposed on that initial cut, so I'll trim a little bit more and make sure I like that just a little bit better. After that, I'm going to slide these pieces together and you can really start to see where that epoxy is going to fill in and get a feel for this project. Using our Craig pocket jig and our step bit, we're going to make some pocket holes in some pieces that we've already cut so that we can have a dam to really hold this project together. It's also going to stop any leaks of the epoxy and this is a surefire way to hold these pieces down where they won't come loose during the pouring process. We're going to start with a sheet of 3 quarter inch melamine. We're also going to use coarse thread Craig screw so it attaches to this melamine very strong. I really like the larger head and the square drive on the Craig screws. They attach and don't let go very easily. We're simply going to pre-fill our screws and then we'll attach this to the melamine so that it gives us a backstop to push our project against.
We'll simply cut our pieces to size as we go around the perimeter of our project. We're using a T-square to make sure everything stays square so that our finished result looks professional. After I have everything mocked up, we'll blow the dust out and I'm going to use some Tyvek tape so that we don't have any leaks between the seam of our wood or plywood that we've screwed down and the melamine. Tyvek tape is a real good insurance policy against leaks. We're going to simply apply Tyvek tape to the inside of our form as well as the outside. Now that our form's assembled, we'll blow the dust out just one final time. Notice here I'm also going to apply Tyvek tape in the corners so I don't have any leaks at my corners. It's better to be safe than sorry and this is a really good method that you have just tons of fun during the pouring process. We're going to remove the dust so we can apply Tyvek tape to the outside of our form. Then it's time to seal the edges of our project so it doesn't leak air into the casting epoxy. For sealing the edges, we use our product called Quick Coat. This dries in about two to three hours. It doesn't hold up your project timeline and it's really easy to apply. We're just gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio. We'll mix that up and we're gonna brush that on the edges. This prevents air from leaking out into your finished casting epoxy coat and it just gives you a better overall experience. You have about 15 minutes to work with the quick coat, so don't mix up too much, but you don't need to be in a rush. We're gonna use a torch to torch out any air that was entrained during the mixing process. That'll clear this product right up and it starts to reveal the true beauty of this wood. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video Chris put together. He works real hard. He does a good job with those videos. Thanks, Chris. Man, yeah, I gotta give you a shout out, Chris. That is, uh, that is awesome. We we actually give Chris an assignment. He he runs in there and, and he hasn't been a, around a lot of woodworking. So he's like, oh my gosh. And he's just getting so excited as we're making this piece. And then he starts editing it. And uh, he got that ready for you guys today. And I just want to give him a big thumbs up. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, you saw how we prepped for this piece. Don't be shy. Get down there and crush that like button. It helps us get higher in the queue and comment and tell Chris he's awesome. Chris, come over here. Come over here, man. So Chris is making this whole operation run smoother, but best of all, you know what your hair reminds me of, bro? Me? Yeah. yeah. Who's it remind you of, Mitch? Greg Brady. I think Bob Ross, man. Bob Ross! <laughs> <laughs> Not today, look at how awesome yeah, no, it's, it's, cool, it's all product it's a out. A little it looks burl. Great. Yeah, we're gonna make That's a happy cool. little burl. Yes, sir. Good job. We love that. Good job, Good Chris. job, Chris. All right. <laughs> okay, so on, on with this project, we have a really cool plan for this. Catherine's already mixing some of our casting epoxy, but we have something special. We're in the last stages of testing our super cast. So this is our super cast and we've listened to our audience and a big problem is working uh, on a project like this, you don't want to have to wait days and days to do layers and layers. So this has been formulated to be poured super thick super cast right so we're gonna uh we're gonna mix this up this is just under two inches we're gonna pour this whole thing with one pour we're gonna show you how that reacts we're gonna add our pigments and we're gonna do the whole thing right now live for you to see you guys ready for this you excited oh, yeah. okay, all right great. Yeah. yeah so yeah. so let's do it so you're mixing that up now i'm gonna add um i'm gonna add some pigment we did a little bit of calculations we think we know what this is gonna take but I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna, why don't we pour yours in and then we'll make another batch, you know? Sounds good. Because right. from what, what Patrick and I, we actually did the volume on this, we're just over uh, one and a half gallons. So I think it's gonna take just more than one and a half kits. So actually, let's, we'll finish mixing this kit up. We'll pour all that and see what else we're gonna need, okay? Sounds great to me. All right. Great. Are we gonna add pigment to this one or not? Yeah, we're gonna add most of it with our Purple Mountain, but then we have, we have a new color we're gonna introduce. Mitch, should I come closer to the camera? Sure. Okay, so this is such a pretty color. This is called Violet Pearl Metallic. Now, you can't tell on camera too much, but this has 
my uh, when, I, when I opened that last week, you could see it really well. All right, let's yeah. try that. Oh, so this has, you can't really see on camera too well. Oh, on your glove, you should. Oh, there we go, okay. So this has like a purple iridescence to it. Can you see that at all, Mitch? But uh, Mitch actually tested, oh, can you see that purple yeah, coming out? Yeah, so Mitch actually tested this purple with uh, the, the Purple Mountain uh, Metallic, and you said you liked the- I liked it, it made like a purple marble, and it's gonna look beautiful in that red wood. All right, so let's, uh, wow, that is purple on my black glove. It's really beautiful. Holy cow, and so when you, when you use the light, it really refracts. So that's what I like about this particular metallic, is it refracts that light and make, makes it almost, you know, two-tone, makes it magical, man. So we're gonna do mostly pearl, uh, purple uh, mountain in this kit, and then we're gonna add this pearl one in our next, and we'll, we're gonna marbleize them. I think that sounds great. All okay. right, so let's put two in there. All right. And then we're using a stick to mix our super cast. This is uh, one of our products you don't want to use a drill with and, and, and actually incorporate more air than you need. Oh, this color is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So honey, while you're doing that, I'm gonna mix up the next, the okay. next batch. That'll be great. I'll, I'll get to stirring. Now. So we didn't know what we were gonna do, what color with this redwood, but I think that's gonna be a home run. I think it's beautiful. The thing that you really will wanna do, I've been mixing this. While you guys were watching that video, I was actively mixing our new Supercast. Um, that way everything is really mixed thoroughly and oh. then we can add in that, that color and we're not trying to do everything at one time. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed, then add the color and thoroughly mix it again. How easy does that mix? Oh, it's so great. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Can, can you see this? Oh my gosh. This is going to be so beautiful. I'm super excited. So we did that. Uh, you guys have been asking for purple. You guys, We definitely upped our game with our purple game. What do you think? We did that t whole project uh, today. We prepped that whole thing today. So oh my goodness. So that was fast, right, Chris? Really fast. This is beautiful. All right, Mitch. When you go to mix that pearl in, scoot your bucket towards the front of that table a little bit. We'll get it in the overhead. Right here? Perfect. Okay, a little bit back. Bingo. Mitch, can you see this one? Yeah, right there, we sure can. Can you see how on. pretty that <laughs> is? Can you see it? Is that good? Oh. Yes. Oh, wait, this way. There we go. Isn't that pretty, guys? Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to keep mixing, though. Do you want me to mix that one? Sure um, that one? No, you're good. You're good. So, you know, this mixes really easy. It's a little bit thinner viscosity. You want to make sure that your form, you saw how we used our Tyvek tape. We got this thing prepped. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you were right, bro. This is just gorgeous. Uh, we got our form prepped really well, and that's important. Prior planning prevents poor performance, right? So, Mitch, any questions on there that we can address while we're mixing? Yeah, let me go through there. Okay. So we got a good question asking why aren't you using a mixer? So the reason we're not using a mixer on any of the casting resin is we're pouring very thick. So if you use a drill, you, you incorporate a lot of air into that epoxy and it's going to be difficult to remove with a torch. So we hand mix, incorporates much less air, and we're going to torch it every quarter inch or so as we're pouring it to get rid of all that air that we have incorporated in. Great question. Yeah, that's a very good question. Perfect answer. Um, you know, one thing that we te taught our class too is, let's say you're doing a big pour and you get a stubborn bubble really low, you can actually take a, uh, like a Phillips head screwdriver with a plastic knife or a plastic handle, heat the tip of that Phillips up and get in there like with the torch, heat it up, get in there and you could pop deep bubbles if you, if you got stubborn ones. But the key with bubble maintenance or bubble avoidance is by sealing those edges. Pre-sealing that with quick coat is very, very good. That's what you want to do. Um, and it, it's, it dried for us in about two hours, so that was great. What's up, Shay? Shay just walked in. She's back there answering a bunch of questions. Yeah. Yeah, is there a question we should answer, Shay? Um, what's the setup time on this there. new product? Oh, very good question. 
you're, you're still about the same setup as our normal stone coat countertop epoxy. You're gonna wanna wait 12 hours before your next step on it, but you get to pour a lot thicker. Um, we're gonna do the final final uh, release on, on how far we uh, think you can pour, but mass is important. When you got lots and lots of kits that you're mixing up, and you're gonna do a table that's, you want it to remain crystal clear, that volume is gonna, is gonna affect your actual project. So we're getting all that dialed in so that you have exact information and you know what to expect. All right, look at that. I know, I just am so Here, excited to see one. what this is gonna look like. We should switch. I think we're ready. Are you gonna do bought the, the dark one first? Or yeah, yeah, time? I'll So do I'll it. just keep moving this around. All right, Chris is gonna get some really good shots because we're gonna turn this video into another video and we want to get some with our with our uh, close-up camera. So you cool with that, Chris? You ready? I'm ready. Alright, tell me when you're ready, Mitch. I'm ready. Alright, here we go. Wow, look at how rich that color is, man. So rich. We actually went over raw melamine. We've been getting a lot of good feedback from a lot of folks who use our products on a very regular basis and they love going over raw melamine. They said it releases just beautifully. That is so it. it's like pretty. pie filling. Oh, this is cool. Don't eat it though. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bad thing to do. Wow, what a beautiful color. As delicious as it looks. All right, let's uh, let's get that. All right, really pearl really well violet. Mixed. You ready? All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna actually torch this a little bit right here. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, let me go grab a torch oh. and I'll, oh. I'll, I'll oh. be right back. Go ahead and show them how that looks. Can you just believe that? I mean, look at how into that, yeah, that little space we've got all these open crevices and craters, and it's just making sure that it fills in all these different spaces. It's really beautiful. As we are going to torch this out, you can see all those bubbles will just come right out. So I'm sorry, Chris, I didn't need to put my hand in the no. way of your, of your my glorious pictures. shot here. I know. <laughs> I'm excited to see the other video as well. That'll be really fun to kind of see that whole project together. Hard to see yeah. how it's spread out and created layers. Right. As it's, um, yeah, it's just congealing and flowing around. Right. Me metallic does awesome. that for you. They kind of create some highs and lows inside of itself. So. As soon as he gets back here, we will find, I don't know. Oh, he's got it. I can hear the torch coming in from the other room, so we're in good shape with that. I'm gonna keep mixing this pearl while we're waiting for him. Wow. There he goes. Ocean clip side. Okay, I have a pro tip because uh, Sorry. I just went out to our torch stash and we just taught a class this last week and our class, uh, they like to make a mess, right? I mean, we, we get a pretty good mess around here. And we have a bunch of these torch heads, so I was going through them, and like the first five that I grabbed, this was locked. That's because we forgot to go through after they used them. I wiped take, them. Oh, I cleaned so, them. So you want to wipe your hands really good with a paper towel. So before we grab our torch, like when we're working a countertop, grab your paper towel, wipe your hands, and then operate your torch, and you won't get that that button stuck. So if you came to the class this last week, thanks guys. <laughs> no, I'm teasing it. Actually, we had so much fun at that class. That was it great. It was awesome. It was, it was worth a couple torches for sure. They were filthy. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, you gotta show that slow. Chris, you wanna get up close with that? Oh, wow. Really fast. You wow. can't, can you see that there's, there is actual we about Definition, the okay. I mean, yeah. it's just yeah, beautiful. Yeah. It's like high def right there. That's so pretty. All right, let's put this in. Okay. Good job mixing. Good yeah. job. We want to make sure it's nice color. and mixed. You know, we suggest mixing this for like 10 minutes. It doesn't hurt, and you got all the time you need to do that. It's not heating up. This product is designed to be poured very thick. Right. Here it goes. Wow. It keeps on flowing. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Good call, Mitch, on the colors, brother. Those together look so great. <laughs> that looks good. Are you kidding me right now? You can already see the pearlescence. Oh, my goodness. And you haven't even stirred it yet. 
And it's just like a sports car. <laughs> it does look like that. Wow. Wow, that looks great. Ready, Chris? I almost forget I'm holding a camera. You're holding the camera, Chris. Are you Look, mesmerized? I'm mesmerized. Through the lens. Right. That's pretty awesome, man. Okay, here we go, buddy. Wow. Wow, that looked pretty amazing measuring. Right? I mean, the volume the volume works, you know? When you calculate it out... Look at that. It, we have just enough... Well, it, it came out to just over... One and a half gallons, and we just used a gallon and a half there, and uh, it's almost full. We, we we need just a hair more. We got a little bit here. Oh, that probably won't be enough, but we'll uh, look at that. Look at how that. You just don't even want to mess with it right there. It's so done. pretty. Done. Done deal. All right, I'm pouring. I'm gonna pour it in right yeah, here. Yeah, that's where I would put it in too. I want it to kind of be consistent. Are you gonna stir it? I will. I will stir it. I'm just afraid to mess it up. Like it, it, it's so <laughs> awesome, man. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, you'll see from this close-up camera that Chris is doing the real, the real look of this. Oh man. Let us know in the comments. Is this the right color choice? And do you like do you like this pattern? Holy cow. Wow, isn't that pretty? Okay, are you gonna stir it? Yeah, let's. Well, we're gonna mix up some more. Too little. We're gonna mix up some more. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Patrick, good job on the measuring, buddy. You got customers. Let's just mess with it a little bit. You'll see what it does here. Our customer service team is always oh, willing and able to help you with that. Oh, see what it does, just mixing those colors together. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna too overdo much. it. But it's still gonna move a lot on its own just by the nature of this product. But goodness, good night. <laughs> Woo! What does this mean? <laughs> oh, goodness. That's a uh, double rainbow reference. It's a triple rainbow. <laughs> yes. Wow. What do you think, honey? You want to play? I do. Go for it. I kind of do. I'll, I'll, uh, are you gonna mix for me? You don't want to over mix it though. Don't turn it all right. one color. Every turn. I you know what I, I mean? I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to kind of swirl and twirl it. All right, what color are we gonna make this? Should we just pour it clear in there? That might be interesting because it yeah. might leave some voids and Let's stuff try it. in that. I think that'd be kind of cool. Let's try it. And this is pretty level. We're off level a hair on the front. We might need to just. Okay, I'm gonna get. So yeah, go ahead and go ahead and start answering some questions. I'm gonna mix this up while we address some of the. Uh, or why don't you, honey? Why don't you talk about what Marcy did for us? Oh, I, I would love to do that. Okay. Marcy. Yes. All right, Mitch. You're gonna have to come back to A once you're done with that. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So, some of you guys remember that we had. A special guest here. Was it two weeks ago, Mitch? Was that about right? Uh, maybe three. Maybe three. So my friend Marcy came and she is um, under the YouTube channel Mixed Media Girl and she is amazing. She's, she's an artist. She does tons of things. Oh, I'm so glad. Mitch has it queued up for us. So she does different mediums that she, she does art with and she came and played with us for the day and so she and I became good friends and she went back and she made me a surprise. So let's go back to... So she sent me a link a few, I think it was about a week ago, and she said, I have a present for you. And I'm like, a present? This is crazy. And so she had done a whole show. When she was here, she found out that I love sea turtles. Like that, I just love that. And so she said, well, I do those. And she made me a present. So she, can you get up any closer? Okay, cool. So she made me, she painted the sea turtles for me and she first started out with two and a project with that and did the epoxy on around it. And then she came back and she continued, so she built twice on this piece for um, for the ocean effects, but she added my four, our four little turtles, Mike. I love today. it. Today, isn't it your it. favorite? I'm so I excited. So this is going right in my office where I get to see it every day. And I want to thank her so much 
for making that for me. This is super special to me, and I am so excited. I actually get to, we're going to go down and visit her. Yes, we are. In a two weeks, in a couple weeks, we're going to go down and play play at her little. Yes, we are. We can't studio. wait to see you, Marcy. I know we're excited. So thank you so much. This is so sweet, and it it made me cry earlier. I'm not going to cry now, but I was just just touched so much that she did this for me. So thank you so much. I'm going to put it away from our sticky stuff so nobody touches it. Marcy, you're awesome. I can't wait to be in uh, in your studio making some uh, epoxy resin projects with you and seeing uh, seeing what we can do down there. I know we're excited. We actually put Marcy's painting in the podcast room, so I get to look at it every day. So I stole it from you, by the way. I know folks he did. Are, folks are on here talking how they watched Marcy make that. Isn't oh, that so, that's cool. It was so cool. I'm like, and I was Marcy just at the edge of my seat. Oh, Tom, Marcy. Thank you. I'm so Thank much you. love, much love. So happy for that. Thank you so much. She is so talented, and I was excited. We got to play a lot while, while she was here. That guys, is, is this the kind of project you want to see on our channel during the lives? Is this something that you guys are finding value Let out of? Let us know. know. In the comments below. Okay. <laughs> My question is: Do we add a third color and introduce a third color? Do we do clear, or do we do pearl, or do we do purple? But I'm afraid to screw this up because this thing is so good. Right. Let's I, see what they got to say. I think we should stay clear. I'm just going to say that out loud because I think this is unbelievable. What do it, you it think? Is, what is your thoughts? I'm almost thinking clear. I think it'll just add another another value that'll be subtle. Mitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a What's your vote, stick. Mitch? Oh, I don't know. I'm talking to people. I say... No, this is your opinion, not their opinion. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think all of us are afraid to make the wrong decision. Oh, this is so pretty. I don't know how you could screw it up, though. Let's be honest here. People are saying gold, clear, couple clears. Let's just do clear. Couple gold. Keep see how it's simple. moving back there? Yeah, I see it a little bit. That's perfect. I yeah, think people that's are great. saying gold, glitter, lots of clear. So let's go. Let's do it with clear. Okay. I think that's great. Okay, here we go. Do you want me to mix some more? Or do you want me to, are we good? I think we're good. Okay, great. Okay. Look at that, golly. Yeah, everyone's so saying clear. Keep it clear, baby. Okay, here we go. Right. Can you go overhead? Does it show overhead, Mitch? The best is this, B-roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got it. Here we go. You ready, Chris? Ready. All right. Wow. Oh, that's kind of neat because it's like mixing it as you do it. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's really cool. Wow. Unbelievable. Good call in the clear. Nice. Good, they're not angry. <laughs> no, lots of them are saying clear. Perfect. We listen. Oh, look at the cells it's creating. They're huge. That's so cool. Wow. I'm going overhead. Wow. Oh, wow. That look at that. Oh, my goodness. Still evolving. It's I alive. Love it. I love it. It is alive. Wow. We, yeah. I like a tulip, right? <laughs> so cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Sort of yeah. That looks so awesome. I like this. I love it. Oh, look at that. It yeah. pushed some of the color away where you get to see down into the wood. Wow. Yes. What about in the big pond? Is that all the way full? Yep. Yeah, it's full. It's really yeah, full. That looks cool. So pretty. Yeah. Oh, that, look, clear, it's that clear tons has of created, lights. it's created hollow spots that you're seeing deep. This was <laughs> money right here. This is such a, yes. We're, yeah, oh look at it. It's just fighting for that position. It looks amazing. Oh my gosh. I love that one. Don't forget it over here, right? Well, that's oh, full. That's we got to tilt it a little bit further this way. Now, if I, oh. I really want to overfill this because I'm going to come back and sand that flush anyways. So I got a lot of sanding scratches still in this wood, and that's by design because I don't care if I get drips and drizzles. That's all going to get sanded out of the way. I'm gonna go put another paint stick over here just okay. to tilt this. Hey, this move way. that cup. This one? Yep. Yeah, you got it. It's got a good reflection. Like this one? Okay. I am very happy with that. I think we're gonna call it a show right now. What about the other project? <laughs> I'm teasing. All right. Okay. Do you need some help? I didn't, I didn't do anything. Oh, I thought I'd put one here. What are you looking for? Yeah, did. Oh, yeah, it's right it there. Is. Okay, okay. We're good. Okay. Wow. Just hanging by a thread. It's yeah. great. I Holy like this a lot. Wow. Wow. All right. It's really pretty. Yep. I think it looks great. Okay. Are we moving it or? 
Uh, we can't really move it. Where are we going to go? I guess, I, I didn't think of that. I didn't. <laughs> we could work over there. Yeah, we could put a piece of MDF over this, Mitch. Oh, and, that would and work. We'll, uh, That'd work right you know what I mean? Yeah. So let me pour the rest of this clear in there. Oh yeah, we could put that aside for sure. Okay, guys, we're gonna get set up for our next uh, our next project, so we'll be done here in a second. But comment amongst yourselves in the in the comments if you don't mind. Share this video. Alert all your friends that the coolest thing you've ever seen today is happening. <laughs> right. Yeah, that should work. Nice, good job, buddy. Thank you. So that's why it's good to have a shop with scraps in it. You know, I want to level this just a hair more, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... Do you want me to go get a long level? I'm going to get a couple tripods. This is a good trick I'll, I'll show. Okay. So I'm going to double up our tripods just because when you're filling this up, you want it all to be as even as you can. But I'm going to double those tripods up. Mitch, can you... Here, I'll show right there. So I'm putting two tripods under the end here, and that'll raise it up quite a bit for me. Oh, look at see it. See it starting to level for me? <laughs> right. And I'm going to come. How many would you like? I think I just need to go this way a hair. Okay. Yep. All right. Perfect, right there. Looks great. And then I'll check on this a little later, but I got plenty of time just to... I might, I might even check, look at what it's doing. Make sure that we torch that so we can get that all moving around too, Mike. We want to get all those little yeah, air bubbles out. Okay. Wow, look at how that just cleared all up right up. Mitch, is Brian Gary still on? There, there's lots of comments. Ryan Geary might be in the comments uh, section. He's the American builder. Give him a big shout out and a thumbs up. Uh, we went out to his show and had an amazing time um, doing a big project out there on the American builder. All right, you ready? Yeah, I think so. I think we're ready. Beautiful. And we'll torch that again after the, the okay. light is over. So a key here too is on this form, we actually built, uh, we built it up about a half inch higher than we needed because we didn't want, we didn't need it perfectly flush. So it, it was just fast and easy and it's coming in real handy to cover our work and not be anywhere near our piece. So okay, that's a good unintended consequence. Okay. Happy accidents, Mike. Yes. Let's stay with the Bob Ross thing. Yes. Right? I like that. All right, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Oh. This is gonna be fun. I didn't really All right, it right I'm gonna lift this up. You wanna put these um, little stanchions underneath it? Yes. Sweet. Do whatever you need me to do. So Mitch, you saw uh, I was playing around over here on the weekend, and and we were we were making a piece, and this came out like a peacock, right? Mm -hmm. Can you show this in the overhead? Or yes. So this piece was a prototype because we're 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 gonna be making a color, but look at what that did. I was really happy with how this came out, but I wasn't uh, intending on it flowing over the edge um, as much, and so we created a tape dam on our second try. This is just HVAC tape, that real sticky tape you're gonna right. use. Uh, for pipes and stuff right and so we're gonna do a different geode this is gonna be a geodes on steroids just geodes upon geodes and we're gonna just layer those and uh, we got to pick colors oh we get so, to do that so today? I want to show what we used on this and then we could modify per request right all right sounds great so we used our real teal we used our mist our uh, mystic moss we used our uh, gold dust we used Purple Mountain, we used that black, and we used our yellow base. So that's what we used to create this piece. Um, what do you guys want to see taken away and added to? Let's let's get, get those rolling and see what you guys want to see in this piece. And while you pick, we're going to start picking, making some clear. You cool with that, honey? I think that sounds great. You want me to get started on that? Yeah, we got to get some epoxy. Which we didn't plan for, did we? We were so excited about the I know. Uh, casting. I'm gonna go grab that really quick. Oh, we should have some here. Um, Somewhere. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that's me. 
I'm good. You got something? Oh yeah. You got a bucket? Oh yeah. Sorry guys. All right. All right. So I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna actually mix up quite a bit um, because I'm gonna separate this into little buckets and we wanna, we're gonna do a bunch of puddle pour, so we're gonna use a little bit more than normal. Great, you want me to get the cups people, out ready? People wanna see blues and teal, they love that teal. So you want me to Purple, get out the cups and less put yellow. those colors in there? Put them yeah. at the bottom? Yeah, right? we'll, we'll pick out how many colors we're gonna do and then we'll, we'll uh, go from there. So they said blues. Real teal. What else did you say, Mitch? I'm sorry. Oh, teals. They say less yellow. Less That's yellow. One recommendation. Uh, we got a. Oh, I like the gold dust a lot in that piece. You know, I think a good theme, Mitch, would. And I know I go back to this a lot, but I love the blues. I think maybe all of our blues, and a white, and and yeah, this, and someone a, just said metallic white in there. Okay, so I, I have a base. white base because that'll help it. Yeah. I like to use a difference between metallic and base because they react with each other. Turquoise. Okay. I think we should, are you just doing blues or are we doing the kind of ocean style theme line? Do or? all of our, do all of our blue, like get, we need to get electric blue. Um, Monty, will you go out and grab our electric, electric blue? Electric. Or I'm sorry, Crater Lake Blue. <laughs> we were that's uh, Micah yeah. Flake. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we're live. <laughs> we're live, man. How about some silver, Mike? You want to do silver today? Oh, uh, what do they think? I don't know. Gold. Well, yeah, Chris just says gold and silver. Silver. You want to do bright, brighter, brighter and deep? Or not? Lose the moss. One person asked. Gold dust. Lose the moss. So I agree with that if we're going to do blues. Mitch is going to grab our crater leg blue. Monty is, uh, Monty just started with us. Uh, he's he's going to be, you want to you wanna introduce yourself, Monty? All right. Put Monty on the spot. Monty, uh, Monty just started with us. He's in customer service. What do you think so far, bud? It's been awesome working for you guys. Uh, I love the product. I was looking for a solution for a really long time. And uh, when I came across this, I knew it was exactly what I wanted. So you, you actually used our product in your own house. Yes. Long yes. before we ever met, right? Yeah, it's probably a year before. I was looking for something that was super clean, easy to clean, uh, non-porous, so it's not going to soak up all that food stuff. So right. It was exactly what I wanted, and uh, thought it was great. So I've been really excited to see all the different projects that you got going on and uh, all that kind of stuff. So. You been having fun? Yeah. Definitely. Right on, man. Welcome to the team, bro. Thanks. All right. We're going to have to get you a shirt. Okay, <laughs> Can you shut that door for me, Monty? And yeah, so Monty's, Monty's hanging out. Chris is back here. Mitch is answering your comments. Shay's answering comments. Who else has answered comments back there, Mitch? Uh, Sandy. Sandy, yeah, Sandy. Everybody say hi to Shay and Sandy. Tell them thank you for being in that comment section and helping out. Thank you guys so much. Let me get this out of our way. All right. While you talk, honey, yeah, why, don't, why don't we do our? Um, why don't we announce our uh, our? Uh, you got this. You got this award to. Let's do the first one, Mitch. The one who matched the countertop. That was yeah. really impressive. Can you show that and go over that, buddy? I will. All right. Let me get on the right screen. There we go. Sorry about that. So here is Jeff Robertson. He's a member of the. Stone Coat Countertops Insiders, and check out what he did here to match that piece of granite. Yeah, we get that question a lot. Can you match this granite? Can you match that? Granite's hard to match, but you knocked this out of the park here, Jeff. Way to go, man. Thanks for sharing. It says you're here, your conversation starter. So what that means whenever you see that badge is you, you've you had so much interaction with the post you put up that you get that little badge. So I think they put out 10 each month to the top conversation starter. So thanks for that, Jeff. You're doing a great job in there, man. So what you're gonna get is the You Got This Award winner for this week. Go ahead and email us at stonecoatcountertops at gmail.com, your shipping address. Uh, give us your name, let us uh, know you're the winner and we'll get you a package sent out here right away. 
Congratulations. Should, We're really should we go into Diane Fox? You ready for that? Or you know what? Let's let's do Diane Fox's after. We'll uh, okay. we'll show what she's done. It's it's. I'm shocked at what she sent us, and I want people to see that. So stay to the end to see what Diane Fox rocks. <laughs> all right. Not so we got all of our blues. Yep, we're ready. So what we're going to use is Crater Lake Blue, and Catherine, you're going to you're going to pour these in the cups first, right? Right. That's Crater Lake right. Blue. We're going to do Tropical Turquoise. We're going to do Blue Earth. We're going to do Gold Dust, Bright Silver. Oh boy. We're going to do ocean blue. We're going to do white. <laughs> do we have enough cups? I don't think so. We do. And we're going to do... Uh, They're just right on the table behind You know what else we should do? They're begging for glitter. Let's do some blue base tint with all this blue. Chris, you want to grab one of those and then grab... Uh, what kind of glitter, guys? What, what color glitter do y'all... Oh, blue glitter! Oh, our light blue. Grab our blue glitter. Okay. Blue glitter, blue base tin. That's it. That's it. We're ready. You're the man. We'll Thank you. Blue. We have the best team ever, guys, and I just want to give them a big shout out and a big thank you. They work very hard. If we don't have enough cups, we're gonna have to cut some colors. We we have cups. I mean, I mean, not cups, but epoxy for the cups. Oh, but we're okay. Sorry, I actually took over, didn't I? You kind of did. That's okay. No problem. Make sure you just mix really well. So if you get ahead a little bit, just make sure that you mix really well. That's the whole point of putting it in a little bit. So do you want me to add the colors or just? Um, don't mix yet. We're gonna, we need some more cups and we'll. Uh, okay, there's some cups. Yeah, there. start adding the color. That'd be, uh, that'd be awesome. Sweet. For white. I said geo on, geo on steroids. Mitch, you think this will be accurate, accurate uh, description? Yeah. So we actually had one of our um, class members this last week. She she has a stone called malachite. Thank you, Chris. You, oh, look at that. That blue glitter will be cool. Can you show that to the to the camera, Chris? We are on B roll. All right. Where's we got more cups? Back it up. We got a million cups. All right. Little up, little up, and little back. You see it glitter. Uh, see it sparkle. Cool. Don't have any more done. Ooh. Epoxy. Oh yeah, we got more epoxy. Because we gotta do white and then I'm gonna do blue glitter. And we gotta do blue. Do we have one one that we're not stop? Oh, maybe not. I shouldn't have done one more. Do we have a, you have more? Oh, oh yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, I got okay. lots more. I thought we might have run out. I mixed more than we needed because we're live. Cool. I'm glad <laughs> right? that we did that, right? I know. <laughs> Because we're live at five. Was that a full bucket you mixed up? No, or? not quite. Not quite. Here's that. Here's that is. Do you want me to stir it? We're going to have some play time afterwards. You guys, Are we going to stir? Did we show them the pe Oh, if you guys didn't see what we made last week on ATD's channel, when we hijacked their channel and we made that with our hands, we're going to have to do a clear coat on that thing. It came out. Go go check out that video. Yeah. It was After. It was so cool. That yeah, not right now. So don't, don't go check it out right now. It is really cool though. It's an amazing piece. Can I start stirring? Totally. Okay, good. Please. Chris, you want to come help stir? Yeah, let's mix it. Oh, you're going to need some gloves, brother. Here you go. Close me up. There you go. <laughs> We're not that professional. Sweet. Mitch, you having fun, buddy? Oh, yeah. Abstract Boss loved the channel hijack. It was so much fun. Abstract Boss has been making some really cool stuff. Yeah. Go it's check her out. Stuff. She's been doing really, really amazing, amazing projects. Chris uh, Clifford asks, is there any kind of glow-in-the-dark pigment? Yeah, uh, have we released that yet, Mitch? We have not. Uh-oh. I think next week we might need to do that. Yeah, we do. We do have some uh, glow in the dark ready to rock. We've tested it. We love it. And uh, actually, the person who loves it most, everybody can think, is Mitch. Um, he's the one who who pushed hard for that and uh, convinced Catherine to go for it. Right? Yes. And I actually have been looking for some great doing that for a while, and I was really excited when we found something that we really enjoyed together. So that's great. Thanks, Mitch. Good job pulling the trigger. 
All right. I'm going to save that clear over there because we may have another project. I got yeah. a question here if you want to answer. Uh, uh, okay. J.R. McClure, can this product be used over marble 12 by 12 tiles? Yeah, you're going to want to use a clear bonding primer or R bonding primer over those tiles. If you're going to go opaque and really hide the tile, then use a... Uh, if you're just making like decorative tiles, there's not a lot of prep involved. But if you're going over a floor, there's a lot of prep involved. You got you got to fill in all those grout joints. So ask him, is he going over floor or is it just like, just for like a, a one piece? You know, a lot of people will use a tile almost as like a canvas. You know what I mean? Right. I'll wait for an answer. All those kind of questions too. You can always feel free to give our customer service a call with your specific project needs, and we're happy to help you through that. But if if I was going over a tile floor, I would actually use a uh, floor leveler and I would get the whole thing level first and not try to use epoxy to level that floor because that's going to be a lot more expensive than a floor leveler right. and then we'll uh, we would do epoxy over that. Oh I'm in love with this this blue glitter. Yeah whoever in the comments said blue glitter cool. they're, they're awesome. Right. So anyways malachite we had a we had a uh, a class member want to know how to make malachite and this is going to be how we're going to show it but malachite is a bunch of different greens and a little bit of white and stuff like that in it and so it may not show up super good on uh, on our live cameras so we'll do a video with that in the near future so we can get really good close-ups and uh, we have to use different equipment when we go live versus Mm -hmm. um, versus our, our cameras when we're oh, yeah. shooting off, not live right Chris what's the what's the biggest difference for you well, um, the biggest difference is that these connects to the computer through uh, USB, whereas the others, you know, we have to shoot it and then put the files individually into the computer. Right, right. So whereas these can go live. Cool, man. Cool. All right. Uh, Brian Johnson, hey, buddy. He is asking, I've been trying to find out any LED lights available to go into the epoxy like a river table. I'm sorry. The, buddy. Oh, it's okay. Brian Can was asking about it? LED lights and river oh, table. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just had a guy named Paul come here. He he, he has a shop in Roseburg, Oregon um, that we're actually going to be going out to. All the guy does is LED everything. And and he was in here actually getting a project for his mom. Um, and, and he owns this LED store. And I was like just throwing him questions because the big problem with LEDs is if you do it wrong, you see the strip of LEDs that, that goes through the actual epoxy and it looks kind of cheesy, or you don't see it at all because you're too opaque. And so we have a way we're going to show how to do the LEDs uh, really, uh, really beautifully and professionally, and, uh, and we'll, we'll do a big tutorial on that coming up. That's going to be a really good one. I definitely yes. would tune in for that. Watch out. Okay. Are we ready? I think we're ready. So here's the plan. We have to do a, I'll start and I'll just do little dots and okay. we're going to pour right in the center of those dots. But if you don't hit the center, it's okay. Geodes are, are not man-made. They're right. not perfect. Right. And this may not be geodes. This may be like, uh, like rainbow polka dots when we're done. It's so going to be awesome. Whatever it is, it I is. I like our sample. I am confident these colors are going to look amazing together. I think we're good. All right. It's cool being on this side of the table. I think so. <laughs> Chris, I'll have you, uh. We might want to have him. I'll have you pour one of these colors too, right? You sure. cool with that? I'm cool with that. All right. So this is just over raw MDF, honestly, because we didn't have time to do anything else. All right, honey, you can just start um, taking the next color. And the key, key with doing this is you really want to use um, contrasting colors on top of each other is my, you know, my, my hypothesis. Suggestion. Right? Yeah. So I just did, and you know what I did wrong right there is I used all the color. I don't have more right. green. So I think we'll just do that. We'll just make that our theme. Just, just do it. Use it all. Yeah. Why not? Okay. So we're just going to go for it. Yeah. Okay. Chris, grab a color. Mm. I'll follow Catherine and then you follow me. Okay. Maybe we don't use right. them. Do you want to use them all exactly the same? Let's do it exactly the same on this piece, and then we'll we'll see what happens. I got the gold. Okay, you got the gold. I'm gonna go white, right over that blue. Okay. Just follow your lead. Oh, oh there's so many arms. I know. <laughs> it looks a little crazy. It's awesome. Sorry. Yeah. Get in there, Chris. Okay. Don't be shy, Chris. Ah! <laughs> it's 
what I get for following orders. Should we add one here? Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I mean, you're the boss. You are the boss. Well, that's not true, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I really like that gold. Now, are you going to have enough, Chris? If you don't, bro, I don't know if you'll ever be invited back again. Right? Oh, no. The stakes are <laughs> now high. By chance, I'll be, behind, I'll be behind the cameras for the rest of okay, my life. Okay, what color are you doing? Blue earth? Should we do blue earth or you want to do silver? Um, Did we do silver yet? Your green's gone. No, go ahead. Do silver. No, it'll show back up. I think it'll show. Well, we'll see. Maybe it won't, but I think it will. The other one, we're, we're going to have to spread this. There might be some tilting going on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Figure that out. Wow. There'll be some torching. There'll be some tilting. Tilt everything. Okay, what's next, guys? We got blue glitter. We got Crater Lake blue. Or we got blue earth. What do you guys want to see? I'm kind of. We want to do really good. Because we got the gold glitter silver, right here. Right? I'm thinking one of our. Let's do. Dark. What do you guys think about Crater Lake blue? Because that's just a real Beautiful. bright one. Right. They cool with that? I think they're gonna like that. I'm doing it. Go for it. Oh no, this is our blue base tent, sorry. That's good, that'll work. Blue base tent coming at you. Cause that will react funny with these metallics. Yeah, that's looking cool. All right. Nice. Mm. You got white again? So you can see this is off level a little bit coming my, my direction. Sure, do you want me to get a stick? No, cause we're gonna move this around a little bit. Should we use white? They're what like jawbreakers. These things are very similar. They're All like of these three. Yeah, yeah, I will. I think we should yeah. pour it in between, maybe, honey. What do you think? Keep I don't know. Thing. I think we keep doing the geo thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever you think. Okay, I'm gonna go. Let's see. We got that blue glitter. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Hit that blue glitter. Inside of the glitter. Chris, uh, you're gonna follow me with with blue earth, okay? Okay. I'm gonna do what? Oh, look at that. Oh. To mega geo. Chris, just, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you need to go get the camera so we get some really cool up close footage of this, man. Right, this is gonna be neat. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do because this is off level a little bit? Yeah. Let me rotate this. Sounds great. So it starts yeah. flowing the other yeah, way. And then we'll put it on our level spot here. All right, it's because you've prepped that properly. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, last one. That's why we wear gloves. Good, good yeah. job. You calculated that perfect. Like we've done it before. Is that all our colors? Not, no. Not yet. Yeah. Almost. No, not yet. Okay, I'm gonna go white. Okay, cool. That's great. Do you want to do little or big? Look at how it mixes by itself too. Right. I think that's really pretty. Can I it's cool start? Colors. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like this theme, and whoever chose the glitter, that just puts a little bit of um. It puts a little bit of clear with glitter in there and it, it acts totally different than something that's tinted. <clears throat> it was cool today. We were in Home Depot. Mitch and I were getting some um, materials and a lady who had actually walked in uh, just got done doing her kitchen. All of her friends love it. She saw us at Home Depot and just gave us a big thank you. So if you're watching tonight, thank you for doing that. That made our day. You're, you're amazing. Oh. All right, I'm going to finish up with uh, Crater, Crater Lake. Lake. Oh, I love this color. I love this color. You like that one, honey? Wow, Giant. that's beautiful. Delicious jawbreakers. Delicious jawbreakers. Such a deep blue. Are we gonna drizzle? Oh no! Are you gonna tilt? What are you gonna do? This is exciting. We gotta move it. We're gonna move it a little bit. I'm wondering if we just go and break the surface tension, see if it'll flow. Well, when we did that before, the torch did good, but I don't want to wash the color out. So there's only this much. I mean, there's almost enough that we have some in the cups. All right, what let's do, do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's drizzle try? that to fill those in. Okay. How yep. thick? Do you think this is going to be? Um, about a less than an eighth. Less than an eighth. We're using a lot more epoxy than we normally would, but it's still going to um, be less than an eighth of an inch. Wow. Let 
Mitch, I'm sorry, buddy. You're not going to have any extra. I, I know. know. We're That's playing. Okay. We're having fun over here. Oh, here's some more of that gold. Put that in there. Some gold right here. Kind of at the edge, right? Yeah, good call. That's that's cool. Just pouring it on the uh, on the edge there. All right. Now, do you think that we should take this stick and just pull some of this in to other surrounding areas? Should we tilt this? What do you I guys want us to the, do? Yeah, we, we let I'm, them decide. I'm, I'm going to watch, watch what happens here when you strikes, start yeah. to incorporate some of this. Okay. Some are re requesting a heat gun to move it. or Yeah, let's do that. It. You want me to go grab a heat gun? Or you, you can. Do? You're going to need to set up the cord and all that. Oh, that will take a little yeah. bit. How about the torch? You and I are great at the torch. Watch this. I'm going for it. Okay. Wait, let's let tilt. Chris get pictures before. <laughs> Look tilt. Oh, I'm rolling. Good deal. Boy, that's really pretty. So I don't like that the centers, I'm going to actually watch, I'm going to move the centers just a little bit. I'm just going to bring color in. And make them so symmetrical. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Asymmetry. What's cool about a project like this, honestly, it's a, it's somebody walking through your showroom or at your home show or on your website. They see something like this, they're gonna go, "How did you make that?" But it's a, a real conversation starter, where people people want to know what what the heck are you doing, and it'll get people to look at your work and your art, and, and maybe this isn't the one they buy, but it's absolutely the one that catches their attention. So. Should we put different colors in there? Northrop wants some 70s psychedelic music to be going on. Wow. Oh, that's right. Doesn't it look like a bunch of eyes? Visit NorthropPsychedelic.com and you can... Uh, <laughs> Which is a website that we bought. No, no. So we haven't done that. No, so. Torch that bad boy. That yeah. white will probably sell out. All right, we'll torch it. Looks cool. You want to do it? Go for it. something that we got um, in the mail the other day it was a gift from uh, what's what's mrs. Fox's first name we'll pull that up Mitch will have to it's show Diane. you guys. Diane. Diane Diane Fox makes resin jewelry and this stuff is just really really interesting really cool and it's gorgeous um, I can't wait to show you guys up close what she's making oh, look at you want to get that queued up Chris so that uh, so that's I'll get it from here. You want to go show Diane's uh, stuff? Thanks, man. Thanks, Mitch. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at that stuff coming through. It's all you, Mitch. Present. I'm winded from this escapade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm live. Hello. All right, Diane. I like this Diane makes this awesome resin jewelry. She shared it with us here on our Facebook page. And we, we were blown away by it. We told her how amazing it was. And then a package in the mail showed up, and it was so awesome of her. But look at some of this stuff. You want to go show? You want to uh, take those off and just go back out? Like, go take that. Well, I'll, I'll hold that under. Actually, I got, you want to hold this? Yeah. I'm going to hold this under the uh, overhead, Mitch. I'm going to come over with B. Hold on. Right okay. Just stay right there. Here we right go. Right here. Right to B. So look at this. Uh, these are a bunch of different pieces that that she has made. They're just really interesting. We'll 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 show close up. Yeah, there you go, Mitch. 
Look at that. Some of those are on spoon backs. Wow, it's pretty cool. So Diane Fox, or is it Diane Fox? Mm -hmm. You got this, you got this award too. So we're gonna send Diana, you got this award and a half gallon kit. And we just wanna tell you from the bottom of our heart, thank you that, thank you for thinking of us. And we're gonna have this on display in our showroom so people can see what you can do with epoxy. This is something we never would have even thought of, man. This is just cool. You want to move that around with it? So, Mitch, we'll go back over here. We're going to show this heat gun moving this. Or you want me to do yeah. it? Okay. Go ahead. I wanted to show before you do that, though, look at how, if you didn't want to use the heat gun, you can see that it's already starting to sell out as well. So, if you just want to use the torch, it can do that. Just those reactions of the metallics and the base color tint, even though we didn't use very much of it at all, was doing that as well. Mm -hmm. we ready? All right, and I'm going to tilt this up just a little further because it looks like it's coming down this direction. All right. So, I'm just going to level that up a little bit. That's what's nice about those paint pyramids is they honestly will, uh, they'll, they'll, let you, they'll let you level things and move them. And, fast. Yeah. Really fast. I'm actually going to take this down and it's also important to have a level surface but right now the surface isn't perfectly level all right here we go you know why that's doing that is because it was it was running downhill right so let's pull this back a hair 180 with it i'm gonna i'm gonna get it to move see that that's kind of cool <laughs> it is. stretch those out a little bit Boy, that looks really and because good. of that tape dam it can't go anywhere you know what i mean that's cool. That makes them look less round and stuff. Yeah, we definitely want to put some pyramids on the other side. Oh, is it not on the pyramids, Chris? It was off this one, but yeah, now it's on. All right. Let's move this around with the heat gun a little bit. The heat gun can create some good ripples, too. You do let it ripple out. What do you think? This will continue to move for me. And I really like these colors. That's really neat. I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, that's beautiful. I really like that. That was a really beautiful way to move that. Right that's there. pretty loud. It's definitely abstract art, in my opinion. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I like it like that, less uniform. Yeah. So you know what I want to do before we head out is I'm going to move this I'm going to then um, move this and see what our yeah. casting looks Somebody like. Help you? You got um, actually, if you could just open the door, honey, you want to talk to him while Mitch and I uh, yes. get this set. And we'll clean off these, these cups and stuff like that. Right. I'll do that at the same time. So. And don't stack those cups together. I have an idea. Okay, cool. So we really appreciate you guys coming and watching every week with us. It's really special that you share this time with us. We work really hard to make sure that we're bringing you things that you enjoy. So make sure that you're sharing your projects with your friends. Um, please, we really appreciate you letting us get that content out. Um, it helps us grow. It helps us uh, have the ability to bring you better and bigger projects when you guys share that. So make sure that if you haven't liked us, you do that now, you crush that like button and ring that bell so that you see when we're putting up new content. We're trying to work on that every single week to make that um, more, accessible, I think, to everybody. We do podcasts, we do these lives. We also bring out, uh, we, we like to call them our hero videos because we feel like heroes when we create some of these big giant projects, but we want to make sure that you're getting the content that you want. So, oh, was I, I'm not sure if I was supposed to do with the reveal. So, well, stir, stir it up. maybe stir it, you think? Probably. I yeah. think I better wait for Mike. I'm gonna let him, he has a vision. All right. All right, Mike. I'm gonna actually put that on. I, I have a plan for this scrap. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were putting this. Oh, that's all right. I misunderstood. Oh yeah, that I needs apologize. to be stirred. Yeah. I'm okay. sorry. I misunderstood. Oh, they look good. Let's uh, put this out. We sell a lot of oh, yeah, left. Oh, Mitch, you are going to play. We get to play tonight. We'll, we'll. After our live. Okay. All right. Okay. You want me to wipe okay. that off? There's actually not that much left. Mike, Robin Shane has a question about when you torch the epoxy, does that cause VOCs to release? Um, from the paints it will, sure. Um, from the epoxy, you want to wear a mask if you're sensitive to that kind of thing. I probably should wear a mask. Um, but there, there isn't solvents in our materials, so there's no VOCs. It's, it's all... Uh, but, but burning chemicals, it's probably not great for you. So, but there isn't solvents and VOCs. It's a 100% solids epoxy. Good question. But you always want to protect yourself. Always an error on the side of caution. Okay. Especially when you're adding in other additives. I don't know if there's enough to do what I was thinking, but I like just to grab colors like this when you're done with the project. And just have fun. Yeah. Okay. You, I have a little bit of clear left. You want to put some on there? No? Okay. Watch this. This is just. I like the finger paint projects. Yeah, I do too. Those are fun. Don't waste your epoxy. Scott asks, where can you purchase the paint pyramids? So you can pick those up at Walmart, Home Depot. Lowe's, any, pretty, pretty much any hardware store or paint store. They're called Painter's Pyramids. They're also on Amazon. We have a link to them on our products page. Yeah. Great question. Yes. Great tool, too. All right, where's that heat gun at? Right, it's right here. And I don't think we unplugged it yet, quite yet, so that we should be able to use that. Let me wipe my hands off. I'm going to grab that. Yeah. You want to heat gun that up? Yeah. Yeah, you do that. All Move right, that stuff around. Here's that. Just get really close and ripple it around. This is actually a heat setting, mm -hmm. so you want to go hotter and it'll move it a lot easier for you. Oh, there you go. I'm new to heat gunning. Let me show you once how I do it and then you sure. can. So I get in here and really push this with it. See that? Get it Ooh. moving. Great. That See how great. it mixes that? Yeah. So all that, just kind of ripple it. There you go. Mitch introduced us to the heat gun after ATV convinced him that it's the way to go and we definitely love the effects that you can get. Um, you, the torch will, will, will pop your bubbles very, very well, but this will give you some artistic elements that are basically stress-free. You're not going to burn the epoxy. Not nearly as fast. That's cool. Right Angel there. asks, if you're, going, if you're not going to display the piece, do you necessarily have to use a torch? If you're going to mix with the drill mixer, it's going to incorporate a lot of air, and the finish on that epoxy won't yeah, be the greatest if you don't gold. torch that air out. You have a little bunch of little pox over the top of it. So to get that glass shot, uh, real high shine and reflection, you definitely want a torch. That's pretty. All right. It's cool, cool to fog that out. That's just beautiful. Look at that. I know. And no waste. Perfect. Okay, Beautiful. let's get in there and move that. So on your casting epoxy, you're gonna to wanna to babysit that a little bit. Come back and move that with a stick. Move it however we're gonna do, but we're gonna move that now and we'll kind of babysit this as it sets up so that we get that movement and that coolness. Yes. All right, it has such a great long working time. They have plenty of time to, to make sure that they All right. have that. You ready, Mitch? Wow. Totally different look. Wow. Look at how beautiful that is. It just wakes that metallic up too. 
Wow. That's beautiful. And now that that's sat a while, it's going to uh, more likely stay suspended that way. Yeah. Yes. You may, I'm going to come back and, um. Man, that looks pretty from here. I'll do this one. I think I, that, that one's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. You want to do it? Yeah. I just think the same piece should look similar. I did love it. But... <laughs> Broke the levy. It's all right. <laughs> There you go. That's great. Cool. Nice. Very cool. So we'll keep playing with this. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's sign off here. All right. Do you want to take off our sticky gloves? Or you want to sure. keep playing? Sure. I'm gonna keep playing. You know I know. That. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on uh, our live. We enjoy it. We work really hard for these. Uh, we appreciate you taking your time out of your night to come check out what we're doing. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Give Mitch a big shout out. Mitch, thanks for what you do. Mitch is trying to get you the best shots, best angles. You feeling comfortable behind the command center there, buddy? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You're doing awesome. Chris, good job. Monty, thank you. Shay, thank you. Uh, Sandy. Sandy, thank you so much. You got anything to say before we sign off? We're so grateful for you guys. And don't forget, make sure you're posting your pictures and your different content on our insiders group so that you guys can share with each other those amazing ideas. We love seeing them. And sometimes we also like to show some of the different concepts that you guys are coming up with. It's great. Thank you so much for that. And until next time, from Stone Coat Countertops, you, you got, got this. this. We'll see you soon. Good job. That was awesome. This is pretty. I really like these colors. Mm -hmm.